So if you've been following along with a top-down series and you've imported these characters from the asset store and you drag them into your scene, they're not gonna look exactly like they do in my scene. So I wanted to show you a couple of things that I changed, primarily how to get this more faceted, typical low poly look. So here in my folders, I've gone to my Toonie Tiny People, the models, and here's your models that have been imported from Blender or some other modeling program. If I click on them, I wanna make sure that I'm on the model options. Down here at the bottom of that, I have these normals and tangents. So the option down at the bottom here that we want to adjust is the normals. By default, it's gonna import the normals. And if I push apply, you can see that the shape becomes much more rounded. It's still very cartoony, but it looks much more rounded. So what we wanna do is choose not import, but calculate. And you also wanna make sure that your smoothing angle is all the way down to zero. Press apply. And what you'll get is the more typical faceted low poly look that I have in my scene here. You may also notice that my characters don't have eyes, whereas when you download them from the store, they do have eyes. I found the eyes a little creepy, and so I wanted to get rid of them. So here in my folder with the Toony Tiny People, I open up the Models folder, and here's Materials. If you look at the materials, there are, you should have a TTWW1 demo texture. And you can see here, this one, this is the original, has an eye on it. I duplicated that, opened the file up in GIMP, and erased the eye. And that's really all there is to it. This will work with these models, and this can also work with other models that you might import from the asset store in terms of getting them to have a faceted or low poly look. So I hope that was helpful, and I hope you'll stick around for the rest of the series.